I am graciously humbled to accept the National Teacher of the Year Award on behalf of the millions of teachers across the United States, and especially those teachers who feel their voices have not been valued in mainstream educational conversations. I am more humbled because this award is a way for me to represent my students. I teach at Virgie Benford Education Center, a school inside a juvenile jail in Richmond, Virginia, because I believe in second chances. America is a country of second chances, and students in jail deserve a high quality education just as much as any student in America. This award is for them and all their hopes and dreams, despite the many obstacles in their way. My students represent the best of America, people who have made mistakes and are still striving and fighting for a better life. I need everyone to do me a favor. Close your eyes and think back to when you were a teenager. I want you to think of the worst thing you did during your teenage years. Now imagine if everyone you met during those years, teachers, principals, counselors, and student peers judged you by that moment of weakness. Would you have been given the opportunity to be where you are today? Would you be the person you are today? My students are faced with this challenge and deserve a great education just like every other student in the United States, and I am proud to be here to represent them. This award is not just for my students, but for all students in America. I accept this award for my black and brown students and students with disabilities who are being pushed into the juvenile justice system by schools that don't value or understand their culture or abilities. Specifically, I know from my own experience as an African-American male that students need more teachers that look like them and policies that keep them in school and learning. I accept this award for LGBTQ students who are made to feel unvalued and unwanted by those in society who can't see past their private lives to understand the wonderful gifts they possess. And I accept this for my immigrant families who so love the idea of America that they travel thousands of miles and pursue the American dream despite facing threats of family separation. I accept this for my Muslim students and any student who faces discrimination because of their religious beliefs. And for my Native American students who are the original inhabitants of this continent and have been marginalized and discriminated against more than any other group in America. This award is for all students of color and any student who has ever felt unwanted, doubted, or cast aside by society. I accept this award for the underdog in all of us, and I will work for all students to have the resources they need. I will work to increase the number of African American and other educators of color. I will work to end the school to prison pipeline. I will continue to speak, fight, and advocate for all students and teachers because every student in America deserves a great education.